figure shows a square of a wire having total resistance R that is placed coplanarly with a long straight wire. Let's say this is my straight current carrying conductor. A square loop having a resistance R. This distance is B. Edge length is A. And this is the current time. Now, first case, we have to calculate the EMF induced in the frame. Fine. The first thing we have to note here is that magnetic field due to a straight current carrying conductor is given by mu naught i by 2 pi r, where r is the distance, perpendicular distance from the current carrying conductor. Fine. Now, another thing is that by right hand thumb rule, I can calculate the direction of magnetic field. Now, if this is the direction by right hand thumb rule, the direction of magnetic field passing through this loop is inside. Okay. Now we have, we have to calculate EMF that is given by minus d phi by dt. If we talk about magnitude and uh, flux that is passing is given by B into A. Now the problem here is that magnetic field so this square loop is changing because it depends on R as we wrote here and the R is changing from this point to this point and so the magnetic field. So what we do over here is we take an elementary length let's say of width dx at a distance of x from the current carrying conductor. So this d phi that is a small flux passing through this elementary width is given by magnetic field that is mu naught i by 2 pi x into area area is length into breadth that is a into dx integrating both of them the value of x varies from b to a plus b so we have mu naught i a by 2 pi natural log of x integration with limits are from b to a plus b so on solving this I get the total flux I have mu naught i a by 2 pi natural log of a plus b by b fine now here is my flux I have to calculate emf that is given by d phi by dt so it can be written as mu naught i into a into 2 pi natural log of a plus b by b d by dt of it okay now since i is changing over here and rest of them are constant so i can write mu naught a by 2 pi natural log of a plus b to b di by dt so we have mu naught a by 2 pi natural log a plus b by b di by dt is given by i naught of i naught omega cos omega t so this is my answer for the first part now in the second part we have to calculate the heat developed fine so first of all i assume that dh that is a small heat that is produced in a small time interval that is i square r dt fine where r is the resistance of the loop and i is the current through the loop fine so i can write it as i square r dt integrated from 0 to 20 pi by omega now we calculate the emf in earlier part that is in uh, a part that is the emf so i can calculate the current as e by r so that will be mu naught into a into i naught cos omega t divided by 2 pi r natural log of a plus b by b this is the current flowing through it so i do have mu naught into a into i naught cos omega t by 2 pi r natural log of a plus b by b whole square into r into dt integrated from 0 to 20 pi by omega 
Now it is not possible to solve this equation over here due to the insufficiency of the page. So I am directly writing the answer that comes out to be on solving this equation directly is 5 mu naught square into a square into i naught square omega divided by 2 pi r natural log or square 1 plus b a by b that is my answer.